where music is going now, we see like, it's kind of like, it's almost like the drug culture and it seems like almost gangster rap is worse now Oof. than it was. You ooh, you about to get me going. I'd like to hear your thoughts because you're in the world. You're yeah, in no, that listen, world. Listen, listen, man. It's, it's ironic, man, because I feel like now R&B is needed more than ever. Mm-hmm. And topically, I just feel like, you know, even like what Brent Fires did with his album, like it's super toxic on some level, but it's his understanding which makes it vulnerable and acceptable. Meaning mm-hmm. like somebody's going to be toxic if they don't know. But then the comparison, like to your point where R&B versus rap is, rap is just like, they're in like a mental health stage. Yeah. Like they really are. Yeah. Like I was listening to my son coming back. Um, yesterday we were in Detroit and we were coming back and he's literally huh, 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 few words. Uh, huh, huh, huh. And I'm like, <laughs> your brain is mush. Your brain is mush. You literally, I'm listening to, he has headphones on, but I'm listening. I'm like, right. but that's your era. I was like, well, what is it about this era that you like? He said, dad, it's really cadence and beat. And my sons are like, I like to think they're very smart. So when they say K, 21 and 18. So this is my actual 21-year-old. Um, but he's like, yeah, no, we listen to Cadence and B. It's mood. It puts us in a certain energy. And I get that because mm. it puts me in a certain mood. Mm. I can definitely get ready to hoop or get ready to go. Or even in the middle of a club, if I'm off that Uncle Nears, I can really, yeah, like, all right, <laughs> go back to my old ways, right? But at the same time, it's like not productive in any way, fashion, or form. Yeah. For your psyche, not even just, please definitely don't pop no pills. I mean, you see these kids are dying from yeah. organ failure. It's crazy. 24 years old. Like, but I'm, I'm, my thing is like, when we were going to be smoked weed, chronic, the chronic. <laughs> you will live to tell your story. Right, right. Right? I mean, also the gangster stuff that came with it. And we saw what happened in the pocket and big war and like mm. all these things. And there were lessons learned. And there were things done different after, no, after those lessons were learned. Mm. But these kids, they, you got a gun charge, and then you still got pounds on Instagram. Mm-hmm. You got, you, you know what I'm saying? Kodak Black, one of the greatest melody makers of his generation. You ain't saying shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you got melodies for death. Mm-hmm. I, I get mad at myself on Super Gremlin, but it, you can't, it's infectious. <laughs> right. But you're not saying nothing. Then you right. double down on the. Mm-hmm. Then you go do a Donald Trump ad. Man. Like you are, you are part of the problem. And people are always like, well, you're too hard. I am embracing all youngers that have any talent. Man. But if you go down the rabbit hole, I'm not going with you. Mm-hmm. And I'm not letting nobody I love go down there with you Man. either. And I love too. Like I'm if I if I and we together and I say I love you, I mean it. Mm-hmm. I don't have to know you, talk to you. I told Eric Thomas, the ET the hip hop preacher, at the VIP experience for Invest Fest. I told him I love him in front of everybody. I meant it. Yeah. Because I love what you are doing. Who you are matters. You need to keep showing up like this. You need to hear thorough black men yeah. tell you they love you. I sure. love you. <laughs> For sure. 